no matter how much I want to have faith in God and know that it's a God and have an understanding of God and the third eye open information and meditation and try to live a positive life, the world is fucked up. I don't know too many people who's doing good. Everybody that I know who believing in God or have faith or not is doing bad. It don't. It, it, it's a. It ain't no up and down. It ain't no. It, no. Everybody's doing the bad. Nobody have enough money. Nobody have enough love. Nobody was raised right. Nobody got the right environment. I see a couple of people who's blessed, but not everybody. And the people who's blessed with those things, they don't even appreciate it. They don't even appreciate. Let's just keep it a buck. When I look around this world, no matter how much I believe in God, it's an evil world. When I read the Bible, it tells me God is good and terrible. It tells me it's a time for this and a time for that. So basically, it must have stayed the time for that. What the evil and the ignorance and the blah, blah. Because I don't look around. I don't see too many people doing good. I see people who believe in God. You know, you got to do this when you say God. Believe in God. I know people who read the Bible, read the Quran, and are horrible people. Sell drugs and killed or killed somebody. I know people who did the worst. And I know people who did good and don't believe in none of the shit. I know people who did good in this world and they ain't no Muslim, ain't no Christian, don't got nothing against it or nothing, but just don't adapt to that ideology because they see through the BS too. A lot of religious people, they try to pretend to be perfect and they did. And you know what? It backfires. It backfires because we clearly see like, yo, y'all are, uh, it's a lot of bad representatives in religion. Just because you believe in God don't mean that your life is going to be perfect. Just because you believe in God don't mean everybody around you is going to believe with you or believe like you do or have the best experience. So just because you believe in God don't mean it's going to better your life or the lives of people around you. So don't get clouded by your belief. Make sure that you are making the right moves in life to try to progress. Make sure you are making the right moves in life and keeping the wrong people away from you, the wrong type of energy away from you, the wrong type of everything. Make sure you know how to live life without that book because you see that most people who believe in these books still not doing good they damn self and sometimes are doing worse than you. You feel me? So don't get caught up in these people who's over-religious people. Yes, they might be over-religious, but their lives be falling apart. I know some of the most holy, quote unquote, Christian people who lives are horrible or they hate where they at in life. Your life is not going to just all of a sudden shoot up and be like, oh, you know, just because you believe in Jesus, because at the end of the day, you're going to be like Jesus Christ. So don't think that people who have faith don't understand that either. Some people who have faith in God have this understanding and that's why when they maneuver in life they have a they they're able to be like you know what I can't be too judgmental on that or I can't go full throttle with that faith thing I can't do this and that I got to be able to do for me first I got to be able to get money I got to be able to have all the things that's important and I got to be able to have my faith too but they know the truth they know that God might not this stuff might can have the possibility of being capped a lot of the spiritual information is just spiritual information. It's invisible that you hoping is real, that you hoping that something something come out of it positive. But just because you holding these rocks, who knows these rocks that you hold in these crystals and stuff? What if they are like like dried up blood from demons and you are like conjuring up all the negative energy? You don't know what half of this is and we don't have no good explanation for it. We think we know. Everybody think they know everything. But at the end of the day, remember, you don't know shit. And what you eat don't make people shit. So don't be so over-religious to people because you can be wrong. We all can be wrong. We all can be sitting here reading the whole book that was conjured up just to make money or to manipulate the people or not have the slaves mad at them after I mean, had something holding back these slaves from killing them after they and found out that, yo, man, y'all done had this slave for years and y'all trying to feed us this book and well, really that was y'all scapegoat. Something. All right? This religious stuff could drive people crazy. It could drive people up a wall. You could be super Christian, super conscious, start hating white people. You could be super Christian and not like Muslims. You could be super Muslim and not like nobody. And we see how things go. Every religion got their bad apples. You got the Hebrew Israelites who done bang banged a couple of people and now they look bad because they wanted to be like, we are the original people. And now some people got off because of that. You got Christian people who done the dark ages. You got Islam. God bless you guys. I'm not saying nothing about that's how 
That's the that's the energy that I that, that, that no I'm not saying a god thing thing negative about I'm not even saying what they do wrong. I'm not that's a shame that I gotta be like that talking about that's the energy that I get when I talk about a religion. People are afraid if people are afraid of talking about your religion like so you got a question be like dang like I know it's like that but maybe oh you just lack understanding all right we'll break it down. You feel me? But all I know is no matter how holy people claim to seem to be, I know the truth. I don't know your past. I don't know what you've done. I don't know why you ran to religion. And I don't know if you the problem. So don't, I don't, I look at religious people or religion or whatever completely different. I look at the people and I, and I see people as individuals. I don't see you as a group. Everybody got into religion for positive reasons. They got, or you should have, you shouldn't have gotten into religion for tribalistic reasons like these these days. But however, if you got it for the right reasons, it was to better your life. It was, you saw something in you that you needed to change and you wanted to change it. And then you see some people change and you see that you thought that this is how. You got into it to better other people lives around you. Try to fix your attitude or to try to deal with others. You try to have, to have that, 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 to read the book to try to deal with your environment. Maybe you was doing something wrong. Maybe it was the environment. Maybe it was whatever. But you're trying to get closer to God or closer to something else other than, if, I mean, this. You got tired of chasing after lust. So you got into religion for positive reasons, most likely. And then it turned out you ended up racist. You ended up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I hate people. I hate these people and that people. I don't think that's right. They say that's right, right in my book. So no, not, or did you get into it for drama and egotistical reasons and to bash other people? See, some people, they get caught up into the positive part and then adapt the negative and then, then adapt all that and take that with it. And now they turn into a super jerk. You feel what I'm saying? So just because you're religious don't mean you're perfect. Just because you read the, read the Bible don't mean you can have a good life. Just because you read any religion or you adapt to any religion, are you a good person inside? Are you trying to be a better person, period? And can you survive without those books? Can you try to be good without those books? And what can you take out of those books that make you a better person? Try worrying about that. Other than pushing the book on other people when you hardly understand it yourself. Other than pushing a book on other people and you hardly do shit in your book yourself. Or pushing a book on other people and you don't even got a good understanding of where it come from or the history or, you know, the, the you, you feel me? What it can do to people in the negative sense. Stop just being so damn religious. Take stuff out of the book that's substance and try to teach people with it and try to use it yourself. Take those words down. Take the word like it's medicine. And then if it fix you, you can fix other people. But what did you learn from being all religious? You know, and is there somebody in your life that pushed you towards religion or pushed you towards a specific religion? And how? And what did they teach you that that because that is going what's going to help other people become better people? But all I know is what you eat don't make me shit. It's your boy, S I J. Third eye open. I'm out be like a belly button. I don't let none of this stuff fool me because I know that people are a cat. They got secret agendas and motives and intentions, and they're weird, especially when it's dealing with religion. One day they telling you this. The next day, they telling you that. And then they really just trying to manipulate you to buy their own damn book. Yeah.